Hi, my name is Michael Chow. I'm a radiation oncologist specialising in prostate cancers and I work with Radiation Oncology of Victoria. What is radiation therapy? Radiation therapy uses radiation to kill or damage cancer cells and to stop them from growing and multiplying. It is a localised treatment affecting only the body part where the radiation is directed. Although radiation can damage normal cells, they have the capacity to repair themselves. And during this repair process, the patients may unfortunately experience some side effects, symptoms of which will depend on the body part that we treat. Many people diagnosed with cancers will require radiation therapy as part of their treatment program. Number one, radiation therapy can be used as a curative treatment, either on its own or combined with other treatments such as surgery or chemotherapy. Radiation can also be used to alleviate symptoms such as bleeding or pain and generally help patients feel a lot better to essentially improve their quality of life. Please, take a seat. What is EBRT? EBRT stands for External Beam Radiation Therapy. We use high energy X-ray machines called linear accelerators to direct radiation at the cancer from outside the body. The procedure lasts a few minutes and typically is repeated five times a week over a couple of months. When we discuss EBRT for prostate cancers, we almost always refer exclusively to IMRT or intensity modulated radiation therapy. This is an advanced radiation treatment technique which allows us to mould and sculpt our high dose radiation to the exact three-dimensional shape of our prostate cancer. This means we can further limit the amount of radiation that is delivered to the surrounding normal tissues. It has allowed us to escalate the amount of radiation that we can deliver to patients with prostate cancer and in some instances up to 15 and 20 to 20% compared to patients who had radiation over 10 years ago. IMRT is always delivered with IGRT or Image Guided Radiation Therapy. We use imaging to increase uh, the accuracy of cancer localization and achieve submillimeter precision targeting, which is essential for sophisticated treatment techniques such as IMRT. What is SPACER? SPACER stands for Space for Organs at Risk, which is the rectum in patients who are undergoing prostate radiation therapy. SPACER is made of two liquids that when combined together form a soft gel-like substance consisting mostly of water and has been used extensively in neurosurgical procedures. The goal of radiation therapy is to maximise the amount of radiation that we can deliver to the cancer, to improve cure rates and also to minimise the amount of radiation that is delivered to surrounding normal tissues in order to lessen side effects. Unfortunately, the rectum and prostate are very close together and only naturally separated by a very small space. Due to their closeness, prostate radiation therapy can unfortunately accidentally damage the rectum. And damage to the rectum may cause symptoms such as bowel looseness, mucus discharge, bleeding from the back passage, pain and potentially even non-healing ulcers on the inside of the rectum. How will SPACER help me? SPACER is injected into the space between the prostate and rectum under anesthesia or a local sedation. The procedure takes about 10 to 20 minutes, has no long lasting effects and patients can assume normal activities almost immediately. The key to SPACER is the creation of a space of approximately one centimetre between the prostate and rectum. So it has the ability to move the rectum away from the prostate temporarily during radiation therapy. And this results in a reduction in radiation dose that is delivered to the rectum. This has been shown in many studies to either eliminate or markedly reduce the amount of damage that the rectum yeah. receives. Spacer separates the prostate and rectum for about three months, providing protection during the course of the radiation therapy. 
It is then naturally absorbed after approximately six months, well after the radiation has been completed. And finally, will I feel any discomfort or pain during or after the procedure? Typically, an anaesthetic is used to put the patient to sleep, so no discomfort or pain should be experienced during the procedure. After the procedure, there may be some temporary discomfort at the injection site, but in general, patients do not report any prolonged discomfort from the implanted spacer.